Breaking news, my wonderful people. Our very own brother, Rufai Usaini Riyad, same say, said, same people who abuse me in public are begging me privately to stop speaking the truth. You see, um, APC people who have been beg you know, abusing him privately, going here and there, trying to uh, get his uh, bosses to sack him since they could not get him to be sacked. Guess what? They are secretly uh, going to him and get trying to, you know, begging him. And you know, Rufai, Usaini Rufai, he said the same people are begging me. They said I should stop speaking the truth that they know is the truth, but they want me to stop speaking the truth. Now, if you look at the whole matter and you are not careful, you just make, uh, you just make, you just make a what's it called now? Shame of yourself. You just have to understand that Nigeria city. Some people know what is wrong, but they want us all to be it because they feel that you know uh, they should be given opportunity because of what they will gain from it. This is part of what has brought us to this part to this point, and why again and again we cannot afford okay to stop on the part of speaking the truth and to ensure especially with this very coming election it's not a game of chance it is not a game of chance we must honestly speak together and ensure that you know these same people who have been abusing him come to him and be telling him that eh, eh but you're talking small small now let's get all the details same people who abuse me in public are begging me privately to stop speaking the truth Rufai Usaini react. In the work of the recent attempt by some politicians to have him removed from the position as a political analyst on Arise TV, veteran broadcaster and journalist, Rufai Usaini has come out to reveal what his harassment and criticism has been critics have been saying to him privately. While reacting to the most recent killings of a female lawyer by a uh, trigger happy police officer in lagos during a telephone interview on voice of the people vop fm a few hours ago rufai disclosed that people who come out to abuse him publicly for speaking his mind are often the same people who call privately begging for him to stop telling nigerians the truth according to the renowned political analyst politicians point to their large audience to follow as the reasons why they should stop speaking the truth on issues th that concerns Nigerians. He said, when answers happen, they said, Rufai, shut up your mouth. You are saying something else. Now, after, after answers, a 31-year-old boy was killed in Ijewa a couple of months ago. Now, it's this uh, lady, Bolanli, who is next? Helens are continuing, and when we talk about it, they will say, Rufai, don't talk. Don't say it is don't say it is too much. You know a lot of people like you, and your words carry power. Don't say anything. When I talk, they say, Rufai, it's election period. Stop talking. But I'm not surprised because all these people that that shut me down in the public are the ones that call me privately to say you are saying the truth but because of politics you know we can't talk but i keep asking them when will politics be regulated and common sense to promote the right thing because politicians for politicians it's about their personal lies being covered up but when are we going to stop in those areas and ensure that Nigerians are told the truth? So this is what is happening. Uh, this is what is going on and why every single one of us, okay, must not allow him, you know, allow those who wants to continue to hold this country down to continue in such a way. The, the reason why the country is the way it is is because uh, we have not honestly, sincerely, okay, allow ourselves to, to be told the truth. We, 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 uh, we compromise on the truth, okay? We compromise on the truth and, um, you know, we compromise on the truth. It's wrong, okay? It's wrong. So it's, it is what it is. Nigerians, you will be you'll be surprised.
you'll be surprised. So it is it is a serious matter. It is a serious matter. It is something that we must urgently attend to. We must we must you know we cannot uh, we cannot uh, afford to allow such people who when you look at them and you know who they really are, you'll be wondering if they have any iota of concern on the part of truth to make Nigeria or this nation a better place. For a long time, Nigerians have suffered needlessly. Nigerians have suffered needlessly. And every single one of us must continue to, to bring this country out of the present predicament and bring this country to where it ought to be. Okay? Remember, it's up to you and I. We must continue to speak the truth and do not allow those who want to destroy it to, to hold it down. Can you see what is going on? Can you see all that is happening? How did we get here? What can we do? What can we do to elevate and to, and to, and to bring this nation to a better place? What could we do to possibly you know, sustain this nation and bring it out of the hands of those who have constantly and consistently hold us down? So it is what it is. Okay, it is what it is. We just need to rise up. We just need to rise up and ensure that we do not allow the same thing. Okay, when we do not allow the same thing, uh, let's bring this country out of the current days that it is right now and bring this nation to the na to the place where everyone can be really proud. Okay, everyone can be truly, truly, really proud and ensure that we are right on track with moving forward. That's the only way we can truly make anything tangible and bring this nation to the best of, you know, to the best of place that she ought to be. The people who are telling you that um, people who are telling you they want to lead, they want to do this and that. Have you have you carried out a deep analysis on them? Have you have you really checked them out? Have you seen what they are doing? Do you know what they are capable of? Can they really lead? We must ask ourselves those questions. Okay. So this is what is happening right now. And this is why, you know, we must bring this nation to the place of, you know, truth, unity and justice in order for this country to move forward. Yes, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe, click on the notification button so you can have all our latest news. Remember, you have a voice. God bless. Have a fantastic and a lovely day from us. Is bye for now. Bye bye.